Well, the president also joking about firing his Health and Human Services secretary in front of the Boy Scouts yesterday. Take a look. Hopefully, he's going to get the votes tomorrow to start our path toward killing this horrible thing known as Obamacare. By the way, you're going to get the votes? He better get them. He better get them. Oh, he better. Otherwise, I'll say, Tom, you're fired. I'll get somebody. He was talking to Boy Scouts. I mean, these are 12, to, what, 17, 18-year-old boys. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, fire the guy. Uh, but it comes on the heels of the president again, doubling down on his Attorney General Jeff Sessions today, tweeting out uh, that he has taken, referring to Sessions, a very weak position on Hillary Clinton crimes. Uh, there's been a, a sort of a long string of attacks on uh, what had been, whatever you think of uh, the Attorney General, uh, one of his most loyal allies. So I'm beginning to wonder. Uh, this kidding around and a back and forth when it starts alienating Republican senators and friends of Jeff Sessions like uh, Senator Inhofe of Oklahoma, Lindsey Graham, uh, and even Orrin Hatch, you have to begin to wonder whether it could be backfiring on him. To real clear, politics co-founder Tom Bevan. Tom, what do you think? Well, I certainly think the thing about Tom Price was a joke, and I don't think Tom Price has any reason to be upset with Trump over that. He knows it's not his job to get the votes uh, it's Mitch McConnell's job, and, and he'll be the one who gets blamed, I think, if the, if the health care bill goes down. But to your point about Jeff Sessions, I mean, Trump is upset with Sessions. He's made it very public. He feels like Sessions betrayed him, and that's one of in his fire book. Him. Take him know, aside and fire him privately. <clears throat> and, and he may yet do that, Neil. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're going to find out. There's reporting that he's been investigating options for replacing him. Ted Cruz's name has been mentioned, among others. But uh, to your point, it's, it's alienated some folks in the Senate. They want to see Jeff, Jeff Sessions treated, treated fairly. They don't think he's being treated fairly by the president. And, and look, I think the president has to think very hard about this because not only from what a distraction that would be, but the amount of time and effort that they invested in getting his cabinet put, put together in the first place, to have to go back and start doing that, that sort of thing all over again, right. finding someone, nominating them, getting them through the Senate, um, is going to be a heavy lift, uh, particularly for the attorney general or any of these other positions. Yeah, that's a pretty big job, especially when a couple of the candidates mentioned have by and large supported, I'm talking about Rudy Giuliani first and foremost, as possible replacements that supported, uh, you know, Jeff Sessions recusing himself on this Russia thing. Having said all of that, Tom, I, I, I want to pursue more the psychological effect of something like this. The president demands loyalty, and he's right to. Uh, most presidents feel that their staffs aren't very, very loyal. But it works both ways, too. So what's to stop them from feeling, wow, he's hanging Sessions out to dry here. Uh, am I next, or should I be that loyal to this guy? You could turn on me. What do you think? Yeah, look, I agree. I mean, there is, you, you have to be, if you're in one of those positions, you have to be looking around and wondering, you know, am I next on the chopping block? And, and, and do I have the independence to do what I think is right for, for the country, for the administration, et cetera? I would say this, too, Neil, is that, you know, there are some rumblings about uh, some disgruntlement among Rex Tillerson, Secretary of right. State. Uh, there's a story, we have a story uh, on Real Clear Defense about some frustrations at the Pentagon over uh, foreign policy. And, and I think for those if, if one of those people were to leave office because they were disgruntled over policy, over the way that Trump was handling things, that would be an entirely different kettle of fish, I think, and present much bigger problems for the administration um, than this current back and forth between uh, him and, and, as you said, one of his longest supporters, a guy who was backing him from the very, very beginning in Jeff Sessions. Yeah, but, and as you remind me, I mean, it is politics, it is the nature of the beast, that I understand, but it is such a disruption in the middle of this health care push, uh, whether people feel the Sessions attacks are justified or not. Um, Tom, thank you so much. You bet, Neil.